Welcome to From the Quarries. Tonight's presentation, The Rosicrucian Prayer to God, is an extract from a work by John Hayden. Hayden was born in 1629 and died in 1667, and he was an English Neoplatonist, philosopher, purported Rosicrucian, an astrologer, and an attorney. The extract comes from a work entitled The Holy Guide Leading to the Way of the Wonder of the World, Teaching the Knowledge of All Things Past, Present, and to Come. It was published in 1662, and I hope you enjoy this brief extract. Good evening, and welcome to tonight's presentation From the Quarries, an archive of Masonic Law. The Rosicrucian Prayer to God Jesus mihi omnia. O, oh, thou art everywhere, and good of all. Whatever I do, remember, I beseech thee, that I am but dust, as a vapour sprung from earth, which even the smallest breath can scatter. Thou hast given me a soul, and laws to govern it. Let that eternal rule which thou did first appoint to sway man order me. Make me careful to point at thy glory in all my ways, and where I cannot rightly know thee, that not only my understanding, but my ignorance may honour thee. Thou art all that can be perfect. Thy revelation hath made me happy. Be not angry. O Divine One, O God, the Most High Creator, if it please Thee, suffer these revealed secrets, Thy gifts alone, not for my praise, but to Thy glory to manifest themselves. I beseech Thee, Most Gracious God, they may not fall into the hands of ignorant, envious persons, that cloud these truths to Thy disgrace, saying, they are not lawful to be published, because what God reveals is to be kept secret. But rosy Crucian philosophers lay up this secret in the bosom of God, which I have presumed to manifest clearly and plainly. I beseech the Trinity, it may be printed as I have written it, that the truth may no more be darkened with ambiguous language. O stream thyself into my soul, and flow it with thy grace, thy illumination, and thy revelation. Make me to depend on thee. Thou delightest that man should account thee as his king, and not hide what honey of knowledge he hath revealed. I cast myself as an honourer of thee at thy feet. O establish my confidence in thee. For thou art the foundation of all bounty, and canst not but be merciful, nor canst thou deceive the humbled soul that trusts thee. And because I cannot be defended by thee, unless I live after thy laws, keep me, O my soul sovereign, in the obedience of thy will, and that I wound not my conscience with vice, and hiding thy gifts and graces bestowed upon me. For this I know will destroy me within, and make thy illuminating spirit leave me. I am afraid that I have already infinitely swerved from the revelation of that divine guide which thou hast commanded to direct me to the truth. And for this I am sad, prostrate and penitent at the foot of thy throne. I appeal only to the abundance of thy remissions. O oh, my God, my God, I know it is a mystery beyond the vast soul's apprehension, and therefore deep enough for man to rest in safety. O oh, thou being of beings, 
cause me to work myself to Thee, and into the receiving arms of Thy paternal mercies throw myself. For outward things I thank Thee, and such as I have, I give to others, in the name of the Trinity, freely and faithfully, without hindering anything of what was revealed to me, and experienced to be no diabolical delusion or dream, but the ejectamenta of thy richer graces. The minds and deprivation are both in thy hands. In what thou hast given me, I am content. Good God, ray thyself into my soul. Give me but a heart to please thee. I beg no more. Then thou hast given, and that to continue me, uncontentedly and unpityedly honest. Save me from the devil, lusts and men, and for those fond dotages of mortality, which would weigh down my soul to lowness and debauchment. Let it be my glory, planting in myself in a noble height above them, to condemn them. Take me from myself, and fill me but with thee. Sum up thy blessings in those two, that I may be rightly good and wise. And these, for thy eternal truth's sake, grant and make grateful.